All right, battlers, welcome to the first Rose Cup video. I'm going up against my friend, Lyndon Ryu, season one ace and all around awesome trainer. These are blind battles and we have no idea what's coming, what these trainers are bringing. These matches are a lot of fun. Let's get right into it. Here we see Skarmory going up against Alolan Marowak. Tons of fun meta picks in this video, trainers. You definitely wanna stay until the end because we use everything at our disposal. Our entire Rose Cup arsenal is on the table in this video. We see our Wigglytuff going up against Alola Marowak here. Bone Club chipping us down, but not doing a lot of damage. I definitely think Shadow Ball might do a little bit more, but it is not as energy efficient. Wigglytuff is a normal fairy, so it is going to uh, resist that Shadow Ball just a bit due to the normal typing. We're going to try to charm down this Marowak, but he gets to one more Bone Club. You know what? That's okay with us. He's going to spend his energy there. I do have a, a healthy Machamp and the Skarmory in the back. In this situation, I, I decide to bring in my Machamp here, get a little bit of energy together because I knew he could not get to another charge move and now we are in the Machamp mirror. I'm still learning a lot of these matchup trainers. Forgive me if I use the wrong move. Actually, if I use the wrong move, let me know down in the comments. I think with the Machamp mirror, you want to go for cross chop, but if I'm incorrect, please let me know. I want to improve. I want to get better and you will help other trainers as well. We do see our Skarmory going up against Bite Drapion. Bite Drapion is getting a lot of buzz early on. It shreds through everything and its path. And then when you add Fell Stinger to it, it feels a lot like Mawile did in Sinister Cup with Power Punch. So we're gonna take game one against Lenin Ryu. Going into game two, I decided to lead Skunk Tank into Haunter. These are two really cool picks. Haunter is still such an animal. It charges so quickly and the Shadow Claw damage output is insane. It does have to be wary of that crunch though. So we actually make a simultaneous swap. I end up here with my Sableye going up against the Skarmory here. I'm gonna go for the Shadow Sneak. I do not have Power Gem on this Skarmory, or excuse me, on this uh, Sableye, which I definitely need to add. I know I can tank one Sky Attack, but it's actually going to take a lot of health. I haven't run over this matchup in freestyle in a long time, so I'm still kind of remembering how much damage all of these attacks do and trying to figure out uh, what I can survive and what I need to shield. So I do decide to bring in my Skunk Tank here. We know Skunk Tank is thick. Skunk Tank takes that Sky Attack no problem at all. Poison Fang is resisted, but we do farm up some energy. In comes Sableye. I'm actually going to go here for the Sludge Bomb. I do think this was the wrong move. I needed to go for Crunch and that situation. As you can tell, not very effective damage, but Sableye is such a tank. I come in with Drift Blim, and trainers, you know how this battle is going. Even though I have two shields, this Sableye is still king of the ghosts. It is going to take down my Drift Blim pretty quickly once the shields are gone. One foul play almost tanks us down, and then the Shadow Claw will do it. Going into game three, I lead my champ into Haunter. So Haunter, I definitely need to bail out of that matchup. I go here into Skarmory, and this Haunter is farming up, farming up a ton of energy, expecting a Shadow Ball here, uh, but it's just the Shadow Punch, which is good that I did not shield. I'm trying to farm down, but as you can tell, Haunter is sticking around. Very, a uh, very stubborn Pokemon, trying to farm down again, but we don't quite make it. I do have to burn a shield here, uh, just so I can keep my Skarmory healthy, but I've got a ton of energy. In comes this Clefable, and trainers, this is so insane we're gonna try to survive and get to the flash cannon and we get there does he know it's coming boom clefable is out down for the count a flash cannon is such an incredible move and it's great in this cup because skarmory gives you that little bit of fairy coverage as well with the flash cannon so definitely keep that in mind in previous cups flash cannon was basically useless because it only gave you a little bit of extra juice against the tanks but here it's a fairy killer so definitely keep that in mind trainers here comes sableye versus skarmory we hit it with the foul play i am out of shields though so this match is not going the way i want it to go uh, sky attack is going to hurt quite a bit and my opponent still has a shield i'm going to save my honor here and go for the shadow sneak just to burn the final shield which we do get and in a nail biter linden ryu wins that round Going to the next game, I lead Probopass into Charizard. Probopass is a dangerous Pokemon trainers, especially when you don't have a counter. We we bloodied that Charizard so quickly with Rock Throw, and in comes Skarmory. At this point, it is obvious to me that Linden did not bring a good counter to Probopass. In comes Clefable, and Probopass, being a Steel type, is going to resist those charms, which is very nice. I do have Magnet Bomb as well, so if he did not shield, that would have one shot at Clefable. Pro Probopass is a is a great Pokemon that you definitely want to consider for this cup as well. I know that in 
uh, Fusion Cup, some trainers were using it. I personally pre uh, preferred Bronzong just because so many Whiskash were running around, but with no water types in Rose Cup, Probopass might have a time to shine. Uh, we will have to wait and see. Here comes the Sky Attack from Skarmory, bringing my Golbat very low, but we're able to get to the Shadow Ball. Uh, trying a little tricky uh, finger movement there on the Ghost Type animation just for fun, but we do have a healthy Probopass uh, coming in here. I'm expecting a Flash Cannon from the Skarmory. Uh, so in this situation, I am going to not shield it, just trying to see what Probo can take. In comes Clefable, one charm wraps it up. Going to this game, I lead Wigglytuff into Machamp. This is a great matchup for us. Uh, those charms are going to chunk away at this Pokemon. I want to see how much Cross Chop does to Wiggly, so I allow it through. A decent amount of damage, nothing too crazy, but Wiggly easily wins that matchup. In comes Steelix. I do not want to switch lock myself, trainers. This match is actually very insane. I posted it to my Twitter. If you want to follow me on there, it is at Chief2Speedius. Uh, if you can check out the sped up version of this match. This match is nuts. We do take that charm and then I'm trying to get to another Ice Beam and we are resisting those Dragon Tails hardcore so we are able to get to another Ice Beam here. Wiggly putting in work against the Steelix here. Not going to win it, but definitely going to give Steelix a run for its money. I do come in here with Charizard. So Charizard is a great Pokemon. I definitely want to do a feature on it in this cup. I think fire is a necessity. You have to bring a fire type if you're going to be successful in the Rose Cup. I do swap here into my Gengar, a uh, ghost type glass cannon, just trying to put some damage on the Sableye. I am out of shields, so I have to be very, very careful about how we manage this trainers. I do go here for a Dragon Claw. I need one more Dragon Claw to bring down the Sableye. And we get there. So clutch. Charizard is such an animal. Uh, we're going to take down the Sableye, but check this out, trainers. In comes a Crunch from Steelix. Can we hold on? And we do. One more Fire Spin. One HP and a Dream. Going to the next game, I lead Metacham into Muck. Muck is a poison type that is going to resist a lot of what Metacham throws, but I am packing that Psychic. So I go straight for the Psychic here, hoping to land the surprise attack on my opponent, and it does go through. Super effective damage. No need to swap at this point because I have done a ton of devastating damage to Muck. I'm able to farm down with the counters, and even though my Metacham is weak, I'm going to stick it out here and put some hurt on this Alola Marowak next. Again, I'm very wary to uh, switch lock myself self into a bad uh, position, so I'm going to leave Metacham in here and allow this Marowak to chip it down. Here comes a Bone Club, so we actually get this Marowak to spend some energy on us, which is great. It was undercharged so that he could farm up a couple more Fire Spins. Definitely a great move by Ace Trainer Linden Ryu. Here comes an attack from the Marowak. It will be the Bone Club. I was expecting Shadow Ball, so I definitely wanted to shield. Even though Sableye is King of the Ghost, you do have to be wary of the Shadow Balls trainers. We learned this in Sinister. The Shadow Ball could come at any moment, even though Sableye wasn't allowed in that cup. You know what a Shadow Ball can do to a Ghost type. Here comes Machamp, and we are in a very, very close match. I'm going to allow this Cross Chop through, not very effective damage, and we're able to get to another Shadow Sneak. Again, here, trying to switch it up with the uh, the Ghost type, a charge move animation. Almost able to Shadow Claw down Machamp. In comes Clefable, and Linden has to know that this game is over. I do one charm to bring down Machamp. Taking a look at this round, I lead Glalie. This is a rank one Glalie trainers. I don't have that many rank one Pokemon, but Glalie is one of them. I'm facing off here against a Charizard. Fire Spin is going to hurt pretty badly. I do try to drop the Avalanche on it, but he QSAs us and we're not able to get out of this matchup like I planned. I do swap here into Clefable. Clefable is not going to do very well here, especially if it gets hit by a Blast Burn, but I will resist the Dragon Claw. Hoping for the bait. It was not a bait. Uh, Charizard was not playing around. Blast Burn is going to roast our Clefable. In this situation, I need Charizard to be healthy, so I am going to give up my second shield. In comes uh, Lolan Marowak. So in this situation, Blast Burn is not going to do that much to another fire type like Marowak. So I am trying to spam these Dragon Claws just to chip down my opponent. I am in not in a great situation though. I do bring in Glalie, which is weak to the fire spin, and I push for the Avalanche, but we don't quite get there. Shadow Ball is going to bring down the Glalie. In comes Charizard, trying to get here to another Dragon Claw. This match is pretty much lost, but I definitely want to uh, make it closer than it appears. In comes Machamp, and we know that Rock Slide is going to devastate state us if it lands. I get off one more Dragon Claw trainers, but the door is closing on us. Charizard is going to take this rock slide and Linden takes this round. 
Going to the next game, I lead Metacham into Steelix. I'm getting Sinister flashbacks, how about you? This is a matchup we know we will win. In comes Skarmory. I'm actually going to leave my Metacham in here. I want it to ramp up that counter damage, and then I'm going to swap here into Glalie. Glalie is an interesting anti-flyer, being an ice type with Avalanche. However, it is not that bulky. Flash Cannon definitely would have done a huge chunk of damage to us, so very, very good for us to shield that because Glalie is an ice type, and that steel would not treat us very very well. We are able to bring down the Skarmory. In comes Steelix. I'm going to flex the Shadow Ball here. Just trying to put some chip damage on this mighty, mighty Steelix. I'm not sure if Iron Tail or Dragon Tail is the right move for this Cup Trainers. With so many fairies around, I think it'd be very tricky if you ran Iron Tail. Uh, there's also Thunder Fang to consider as well. So we are going to take that Crunch and barely hang on. Trying to push for one more Avalanche and we get there, which is great. We're going to fire this off. Uh, just trying to put pressure on Steelix. We bring it down. In comes Sableye. Sableye is definitely outmatched by Clefable. Of all the Charmers, I love two Charmers the most. One is Clefable and two is Granbull. Granbull I want to talk about in a later feature video, so stay tuned for that. Trainers, if you are loving these battles, please hit that like button. It only takes a second. Here we go with Lickitung. Like for Lickitung, trainers, we are trying to lick this Drapion to death. I fire off the Stomp here against the Drapion. I'm not doing a whole lot of damage, but we're able to switch perfectly into our Skunk Tank to take this fell stinger. This is an Ice Fang Drapion. We saw a bite Drapion earlier in the video. Ice Fang is another interesting option to consider. Another fell stinger, and these Ice Fangs are starting to really chip away at our Pokemon. Double fell stinger is going to boost that attack super high. Again, Skunk Tank is holding on though. Such great bulk, such a great generalist. I'm gonna fire off the Crunch here to bring down the Drapion, and that is good news for us. Linen's gonna think things over. He decides to send in his Sableye. Unable to get to another Crunch though, which is really devastating for us. I do have Lickitung though with that dark type Lick and it's normal typing. So we do have to watch out for the foul play, which I know is coming our way, but Lickitung is also hashtag thick. So we are able to take one foul play here. Uh, I, he actually switches perfectly into that Skarmory to absorb our Power Whip, and this game is very close. I decided to bring in my Excadrill. Excadrill is a Pokemon I've tried several times to make work, but it's so tough, trainers. It is a Steel and Ground type, weak to fire. It does have Rock Slide and Mud Slap as the fast move. I am trying to mud slap down this Skarmory, and even though flying does resist that ground type attack, we are able to take a little chunk out of the Skarmory. In comes Lickitung. My opponent still has a shield though, so this is not good for us. Trying to go there for the uh, power whip, but we don't get it. Linden's going to take this round with a foul play. Going to this game, I lead Gengar into Haunter. This is Battle of the Ghosts. Uh, Gengar is a very fun Pokemon to consider. As you can tell, we are just shredding each other with these Shadow Claws. Uh, Gengar on Haunter Violence is no good. Here we go though, I'm gonna face off against Machamp. This was the wrong move, trainers. I should have gone for the Shadow Ball, but it does get shielded anyway. That is one thing to love about Gengar. It does resist that fighting type attack. And as you can tell, the um, bulk is not that great, but against a resisted Pokemon like Machamp, you can actually do some work. Here comes my Donphan. Donphan's another really interesting Pokemon trainers, and the reason is that it has three different fast moves that you can really leverage in this cup. It does have Counter, Charm, and Mud Slap. All of those are really good moves, and when you see a Donphan on your opponent's roster, you have no idea what to expect. I think Counter is probably the most common, with Mud Slap being second and Charm being third. If you are thinking about running Donphan, if you've seen some Donphan hype, let me know in the comments down below. I go in here with the Lipard against this Machamp and we do get cross chopped down. We are going to lose that round, but we jump right into the next game. Trainers, two more matches to go. Stick around. Here we go with Golbat into this Steelix. That is not a good situation for us. I go into Swallet. Swallet is a great Pokemon, a great generalist with insane bulk. We're going to fire off the Sludge Bomb and take a huge chunk out of that Clefable. So that's very, very good for us. I do remember seeing Swallet at Worlds in the North American Championships. It is a great Pokemon and I think I might do a, a feature video on it as well. It just has such great coverage and it does have access to Acid Spray as well. I know Acid Spray wasn't a huge deal in Fusion Cup just because it was so hard to set up a Pokemon with enough bulk to actually do it effectively, but 
in this cup, I think Swallet with Acid Spray does have some play. I am running Ice Beam and Sludge Bomb. We are gonna Ice Beam that Steelix, make a simultaneous swap, and King of the Ghosts, Sableye, is gonna go up here against this Alolan Marowak. We're gonna foul play the heck out of that Alolan Marowak. It is almost down. In comes a Bone Club from my opponent, and then one more Shadow Claw will wrap it up. We have three Pokemon, but no shields, and it is going to take a Village to bring down the Steelix. Steelix is good. Steelix is such a beast. Shout out to Jimba Banks. <laughs> We are trying to get to another charge move here, but Steelix beats us with the crunch. He's going to snap up that Sableye and in comes Golbat. This Steelix is just working down though. Uh, pin pricks on a giant. We are about to take it down. He does fire off the Earthquake. As you can tell, it is resisted by Golbat. Even being a poison type, it is part flying. For the final game of the video trainers, we are going Probopass versus Sableye. Swap into Machamp. Here comes Skarmory. Skarmory is a great flying type Pokemon. We know it is the cream of the crop. Being a steel and flying type it has very very few weaknesses but the fighters can still put some pressure on it in this cup check out the rock slide doing a good amount of damage we're able to barely work down that machamp and i do have a lot of energy stored and ready to go i'm going to fire off the sky attack here against sableye trying to put some pressure on him we get off one and then a second one just barely hanging on with that uh, skarmory there to get the second sky attack we are two Pokemon all with one shield each. I bring in Probopass, which is gonna wall my opponent pretty hard. I do fire off a few rock throws here, trying to chip down the Sableye, but it's still such a, 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 a tightly packed, dense Pokemon, hard to beat. In comes my opponent's last Pokemon, which is Clefable. We go straight for the Magnet Bomb here. I realize this will get shielded, and we try to go for a second one, but Rock Throw does not charge quickly enough. In comes Haunter, and this is actually a very close match, trainers. We are taking neutral from that charm. I go here for the Shadow Punch, and we bring that Clefable dangerously low, and we're able to Shadow Claw down for the win. Trainers, this is the first Rose Cut video I have made. I wanted to cover a lot of the top meta picks. There is a meta simplified guide. I will leave a link to it down in the description below. Please, if you enjoyed this, leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more Rose content, let me know.